Howdy, Arla. Uh, I want to continue the theme of making this the most connected brokerage and, and such a competitive advantage in this Facebook secret group. Been talking to a lot of you about what we're going to do for our listings that we're about to go on. We have a lot of questions. Um, I've talked to you on the phone. We've come up with some strategies. I wanted to share these strategies with everybody so that we can take advantage of what's going on right now. Should we have those sellers that need to sell for our concern? The three main issues or pain points I hear from our sellers are, one, are there even buyers out there? Fair question. We've been trying to provide stats to let you guys know exactly what is going on out there. Two, I'm not sure I even want people in my house. Fair. And third is, is the days on market gonna hurt me when offers do start to come in? So here's what we're recommending because I think that you guys need a strong strategy to ease some of those concerns for your sellers. Number one, put it on the hot list. You guys knew I was going to plug the hot list on here. If you have a listing coming up anytime this year, it should already be on the hot list. Number two, put it in the MLS is coming soon. So let's talk about the coming soon status. Coming soon does not syndicate to the public portals. That means it's not on Zillow. It's not on Redfin. It's not on Realtor.com. The public cannot see it but agents can see it and agents can still share it with clients. Now on coming soon, there's no marketing restrictions at all. As long as it's in the MLS, there's also no showings allowed. But if you had a super serious buyer who wanted to see that thing, you could flip it to coming soon to active and allow that showing. There's no days on the market accumulation either. Now there's a 21 day limit to accumulate interest on that. Once you get to that 21 day expiration, what are you going to do? Flip it to temp off status. So, Let's talk about the temp off status. It does not syndicate also. So once again, won't be seen by the public. But I think as we've been talking in here, that is inventory that might actually be available and can easily be switched to active. I don't think the rest of the agents are keen on this yet, but they will be soon. You guys are just a little bit ahead of them. Um, and it can still be shared with clients if it's in temp off. So the temp off rules, I found some verbiage from Bright MLS. The temp off rules do not allow for marketing or showing. But what they actually say is, in regards to marketing, in practice, agents do not discontinue marketing entirely during temp off, including signage, mailers, et cetera, that were initiated when the property was active. And the MLS allows the agent to initiate marketing, again, to prepare for the return from temp off to active. MLS hasn't said anything on this issue yet, but I think that they're going to be pretty lax on the enforcement for the time being. The reason is, number one, the data is at least in the MLS. So these things aren't, quote, off market. And number two, this isn't an obvious target for all the fair housing attacks that we've been taking over the past couple of years. This is simply a way to navigate through this uncertain time. Now, let's say it's in temp off and you have an interested list, uh, buyer's agent call you who really wants to show it. Well, I'm asking questions like, are your people qualified? How serious are they? My sellers aren't crazy about having people in the house. But if they check all those boxes and it's a serious showing, your sellers might find a way to accommodate that one showing. Now, because showings aren't allowed, you can toggle back and forth between temp off and active for as little time as a minute. So why not just switch it from temp off to active for that showing, switch it back to temp off. You're not going to accumulate your days on market doing that, and it's still at least available to all the agents that know where to go look for this kind of stuff. You can also market like you typically would. Just know that this listing is not going to be on Zillow or Redfin or any of the IDX websites. So you can still blast it out to agents. You can still market it on Facebook. You can still have your sign up, do all those traditional things. I think this alleviates some of those major concerns. I'm sure you guys are going to have questions, comments, or concerns about that. This, that's fine. Put them here in the comments. I'll check on this throughout the day. But I think that this is a great time to kind of be a step ahead. And pretty soon, I think this might be a policy that a lot of people adopt. You just heard it here first. So hope you're all staying safe. And if you have any questions about it, like I said, put it in here. Feel free to call me if you have some unique strategy you need to work through with me. And I'm happy to help you guys. And I'm not even wearing a suit, so I don't have a trick for to make you laugh at the end of this. <laughs>